Um, yeah, it's not research that I'm specifically involved with, but um, it's through people at the zoo, specifically um, John Lewis from the International Zoo Vet Group, who is part of the group that consults um, to give medical care at the zoo. Um, he does a lot of work with um, the large felids, the big cats, um, both in the zoo world and actually out in the wild as well. And he's been involved um, in projects where they've, they've ended up, they've anesthetized animals and of course when you anesthetize an animal you're monitoring it very intensively to make sure that it's staying healthy. And one of the things he notices is that these animals, some of them, uh, quite a number of them, he's, he's heard a, a murmur, a heart murmur. And so he grew quite concerned about this um, because some of these animals are going to be um, involved in sort of captive breeding and reintroduction and he wants to make sure that they're, they're healthy before they're reintroduced. And so he began to investigate this problem and to, to do that he enlisted the aid of Malcolm Cobb who is a cardiologist at our vet school at the University of Nottingham. And the two of them have been working together on this and it turns out actually to our relief but also to an, interesting, an interesting bit of information. It turns out that it's not a structural defect. There's nothing stru structurally, anatomically wrong with their hearts. It's actually um, just a, a change in the way that the blood is flowing um, as a result of the anesthetic that they're being given. Um, it's not unheard of, it happens in, in some other animals, in, in horses for example. It's what they call a hemodynamic change. It's basically just a, a change in, in blood flow, change in um, sort of in the, in the way that the blood is moving through the vessels um, and it's, it's in response to the anesthesia so it's, a not, it's not a pathologic change, it's not anything that we need to be concerned about in terms of their health but it's an interesting one um, and it's one that they're continuing to investigate. They're investigating it in different zoo animals but um, ultimately John is planning to check some of the animals in the wild when they're tr catching them and giving them anesthesia. He's going to do some monitoring um, and see if, as we expect, similar sorts of things are happening out there. So it's, it's an interesting project and again obviously one which has relevance, um, sort of conservation relevance in terms of the, the larger health of the, the population. Where are all the leopards, Lisa? Well, I'm afraid it looks like they're indoors at the moment. They might well be inside having a feed or, or just having a nap. It's a, it's, unfortunately, they don't always cooperate and come out to, to show themselves off when we come around to visit, I'm afraid. <laughs>